Jinping is after six and a half years touching down in San Francisco and nearly after five years of bilateral with America. But President Xi is being met with a lot of protest and resistance. Earlier in the day, we bumped into uh, some protesters, the Falun Gong people who believe that the world over they're allowed to practice their methods of meditation, of oneness, but they're being persecuted in uh, China. We also spoke with people who have actually fled, who have their loved ones in detention. And this story of detention extends to Uyghurs and also Tibetans. So be it the Hong Kong democracy uh, movement, be it Tibetans, be it Uyghurs, or be it the Falun Gong practitioners, huge number of protests were at witness. Just a short while ago, I was able to speak with some of those protesters. Have a look at this report.
Are are there other people? Also? Well, since the 90s, they have claimed they came to prominence as a method of uh, well-being and wellness. And suddenly, the Falun Gong practitioners in China increased to nearly a hundred million, and then started the crackdown sometime in the 90s, and it continues. That's what they claim. Now we've got uh, Falun Gong protesters on the streets of San Francisco. There are Uyghurs protesting. There are Tibetans protesting. Just as uh, President Xi Jinping is going to touch down in the U.S. of A. and it's after five years that he's coming here. But uh, I have uh, ladies. Uh, may I know your good name, ma'am? Uh, my mom's name is Qing uh, Pingkong. Qing Pingkong. Okay. Yeah. And you say that she is still uh, missing, or she is uh, being she is held under arrest? Uh, on o October twenty second, twenty twenty two, my mother was being legally detained for her faith for Falun Gong in mainland China, and not allowed to visit my family. Yes. Yeah. So, so she was a Falun Gong practitioner. Yes. And they arrested her or detained her only because she practices Falun Gong. Uh, yes, because uh, she practices Falun Gong. Uh, mm. Yeah. And and you be, you're not allowed to go and visit them. Yes. No. 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 Do they do you know where your mother is? Uh, she, uh, she is detained for her base uh, uh, in a uh, Da Lian Yao Jia. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, detention, uh, detention center. Yeah. In the detention center, and yeah. she's been there since 2022. You said. Yes. So nearly a year. October 2022. When did this happen? Uh, on October 22nd. 2020. So more than a year that she has been in detention. Um, yes. Um, sorry, my English is not good. Yeah, so nearly October 2022. Now we are in November 2023. So one year of detention yes. already? Yes. yes. And are there others also? Are there other people also being detained? Well, just as we were speaking to the Falun Dafa people, uh, now we have members of uh, the Uyghur community and also the Tibetan community now raising their voice against the atrocities committed by the CCP. And uh, this is again on the sidelines of the Xi Biden meet. And huge number of protesters out in San Francisco. I now have with me Mr. Lopsang, who is also the president of the San Francisco Tibetan Congress. Uh, Namaste. Thank you. Uh, this is a huge turnout. Uh, what is it that you are wanting to tell the world? Because uh, Xi Jinping is coming to US and into San Francisco after about five years. Yes, uh, Xi Jinping, after almost like a six and a half years, uh, he came here for the APEC meeting. And you know, the APEC meeting, the objective of the APEC meeting itself is a uh, free trade, sustainability, and uh, uh, free uh, human rights. But the Chinese, the communist CCP, they don't have a, like, uh, they are communists and they are brutally killing our brothers and sisters back in Tibet. So we, we are against that. And the second demand we are we urging to the President Biden to talk about the, not only about the trade, but also to talk about the human rights mm -hmm. that under the Chinese situation we are not only Tibetan, Uyghurs, Hong Kongers, and even even the Chinese uh, Chinese also the democratic Chinese people, their their own people. So we urge the President Biden, please, 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 don't only look at economic, business, trade, but also look for the human rights. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah, you are also making a demand that Tibet should be included into APEC. If Taiwan is, why not Tibet? That's I saw one of those posters. Uh, yes, Tibet, uh, I think uh, as an economy, as an independent entity, uh, yeah, independent entity, but right now we are under the Chinese occupation, so I don't think, uh, to be honest, I don't think it's, uh, it's possible to be included in the APEC meeting, right, mm -hmm. APEC summit. So the, what, what our main demand, uh, as I said before, is, is only the President Biden, please talk about the human rights that we are facing under the Chinese brutal repression by the Tibetan, Yuko, Vietnamese, Taiwan, Hong Kongers, including Chinese people. Before. There is also the attempt to try and, uh, by, is there an attempt by the CCP to place their lama their, uh, in place of, uh, after the passing of His Holiness? Uh, uh, yeah. there, there is an allegation made that the Panchen Lama has been held. Yeah, Panchen Lama has been held and he, he, he has been missing for the last 32 years. Right? And they are the CCP, they are so brutal and so, they are trying to, trying to do the uh, rec rec recognition they are teaching the Dalai Lama. Which is impossible. And we are we are clearly mentioned that Putin Dalai Lama will be the only way to survive. Thank you, thank you very much for speaking with us. A huge turnout, lots of boys around us. But it's like uh, perhaps this time around they've decided that they're not going to be quiet about it. They're going to make a noise so that the world sits up and takes notice. In